Here it is made, 20,000 electrical horsepower, and distributed for heat, power, and light at home state. Water trickling down from the Black Hills is piped over the mountains through miles of tunnels to the surge tanks where imprisoned air is freed from it to drop nearly 700 feet below into one of Homestake's hydroelectric plants. 59 million kilowatts each year from hydro plants and steam, enough to light all of South Dakota's cities, all used in her great industry, the mining of gold. New construction and improvements at Homestake require tens of thousands of sacks of cement, all of which come from South Dakota's Rapid City Cement Plant. Crushed rock in great quantities to keep pace with the company's needs. This is all supplied by the Lead City Crushing Plant. Bricks, hundreds of thousands of them for Homestake and for South Dakota, are made by private enterprise at nearby Belle Fouche. South Dakota raw materials for new construction. South Dakota raw materials for a great South Dakota enterprise. More raw material in the towering forests. These giants of nature are the backbone of the mining industry. Timber. Timber for the mines. Scientific methods are used in logging. No haphazard cutting nor waste in the great pine forests. Inspection before cutting. A weeding out process that gives the young trees a place in the sun. When the trees are stripped of their branches, they are loaded on trucks for transportation to the sawmill. No place for oxen or horses now. Big diesels do the work in good weather and bad. This big fellow is going to the mine. Out of the ground from a tiny seedling to a mighty giant of nature, back to the ground to hold it up as man's great ally in industry. Timber for the mine, and a lot of it. What you see here is about one year's supply. All that lumber goes into the Homestake mine in a single year. You might wonder where it all comes from. It all comes from areas like this. But through selective cutting and reforestation, there is no denuding of the forests. Here is a typical reforested area. Yes, there's plenty of timber and plenty of beauty in the Black Hills for the generations of today and the generations of tomorrow. Homestake logging meets high standards of conservation in cutting, thinning, reforestation, and fire prevention. Trained men protect its own holdings and cooperate in emergencies on the public domain. Industry means science, raw materials, men. From the grizzled prospector of yesteryear to the great homestake organization of today, a pioneer in the mining of gold, yes, but a pioneer in the development of a greater claim, the loyalty and contentment of its employees. Homestake pushes on. This modern hospital, equipped with the finest of medical and surgical apparatus, is not only for the Homestake employee. Here, his family as well receives advice, counsel, treatment and care from an expert staff of physicians and trained nurses at no expense. A liberal pension system adopted by Homestake in 1917 is an added comfort to those nearing the sunset of life. And for the employees, training in safety, first aid, and mine rescue, an accident rate only one half of that for the American mining industry as a whole. Play, too, is stressed at home stake, and there's plenty of it for the employees and for all the citizens of Leeds. This $300,000 recreation center was erected by the company in 1914 and includes a library with the knowledge of the world compressed into 26,000 volumes. And all this costs the community not one cent. These men are veterans, veterans of industry, veterans of homestake. Every one of them has been employed for 21 years or more. Right now, there are more than 400 members of the Homestake Veterans Association. This venerable gentleman, Mr. William Lang, has worked with Homestake for more than 50 years. Just a temporary job. If you're musically inclined, there's the band, and a good one, too. 
Bass drum, big horns, piccolos, the whole works, and it makes good music. Happiness abounds, and why not? They are happy. Happy in the service of a company of which they are a part. Most of the employees of Homestake are homeowners, secure in the knowledge of constant, stable employment. Employment which has maintained a steady level through the years, regardless of the trials of the times. That is a basic Homestake policy. Yes, men are the most important thing at Homestake. Men from the North, the East, the South, the West, Men from the South Dakota prairies, men from lands across the sea, men seeking life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness under our flag and constitution. These men know that they are a part of Homestake, a part of an institution that is as much South Dakota as the Black Hills country from which it has grown, a part of the great industries in the state which contributes so many raw materials to the operation of this enterprise. These men know that their success the security of their families and the 25,000 people in the great state of South Dakota who are directly or indirectly affected by this industry depend on the success and continuation of this great enterprise.